Hey guys, so my name is Shankar and in this video I'll tell you about Floyd Sturtis and Hair Algorithm. I'll also tell you two problems, not exactly two. One will be problem related to Google interview, that's finding the duplicate number in a given array with size n plus 1 and numbers from 1 to n. So definitely there will be a duplicate entry and another problem will be related to linked list where we will understand how Floyd Sturtis and Hair Algorithm help to solve. I'll share you how. Also, I'll tell you the proof of this Floyd Sturtis and Hair Algorithm. So let's get started. Subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so you never miss an update in future. Okay, so before starting the video, I want to confess that I'll not use Floyd Sturtis and Hair Algorithm every time. I'll use Algo. Primarily, this Algo is used to detect the cycle in a linked list. Who do not know what's linked list? Basically, suppose you have a box having two things, a value and an address. So address to next block. Again, some value and address to next. So this way there will be a chain or a list. So the list with linked nodes is known as linked list. Okay. Now, when these nodes are connected such that they are pointing to form a cyclic linked list. Now here is cycle. So that algo is used to detect this node where this cycle begin. Okay. Now I'll tell you how it works. Basically, I'll start a tortoise and a hare from first node. They will start running. Tortoise has speed 1 and hare has speed 2. So, meanwhile, what will happen? When tortoise will move one step, hare will move two steps. So, suppose tortoise, hare. In the next moment, Tortoise here. In the next moment, Tortoise and here because two jumps. Next moment, Tortoise and here. Next moment, Tortoise and here. So, whenever there is a linked list having cycle, then at some point these two will meet because ultimately they are in a cycle and when one has speed 1, another has speed 2, so they will meet at some point, at some node. So this node is our half of completion. After getting this node, I'll move this here from here and another tortoise will come and now they both will move one step every time. So once, then Secondly, whenever they will meet, we will get this node. I'll prove you why it works and all the mathematical proof why it will always work. Okay, so basically, what we'll do, we'll start the race of total and here from here, and here will move two steps, total will move one step. Ultimately, they'll meet at some node, and when they will meet at that very moment, I'll put another turtles here, and both turtles will move one step ahead every time and whenever they will meet that will be this node. Now I will prove you why it works always mathematically. Before writing the proof of this algorithm, I will explore how it's helpful in finding the duplicate number in that problem. Okay, That is a Google interview problem actually. So I hope it's clear to you how it's helpful in detecting the cycle Okay, if there is no cycle, then there will be a single chain that may be a bit random. Then total will always move like this. Meanwhile, here will be like 1 and then. So it's always win for here till there is no cycle in the linked list. 
after understanding its application and linked list i'll make you understand how it's helpful in detecting the duplicate entry in google interview problem that's find the duplicate numbers in a given array of size n plus 1 having entries from 1 to n randomly with one of the duplicate entries obviously because 1 to n are n elements and there are n plus 1 places so there must be a duplicate number in them and the numbers are also random so it can be like this randomly okay and yeah this can also be a duplicate number or i can like this also so any random duplicate entry the first approach brute force i have this array i'll get it sorted and a linear scan will do because it will have two duplicate numbers adjacent so linear scan If the previous number is same as new number, over. We got the duplicate entry, but it has the space complexity of order one, but time complexity of order of n log n, and this is because of this sorting. So we do not want to get this sorted because it's increasing the time complexity to n log n. That's not a good or expected algorithm that a Google interview is supposed to predict. second approach is hash map the very powerful data structure to reduce the time complexity so i'll have this array i'll move a pointer from here to the last index and i'll store each entry inside a graph if that do not oops i'll store each entry inside the map till they do not exist if they exist then i find the duplicate number and it's over boom simple order of n time complexity for traversal and order of n the space complexity for storing these numbers in the worst case i'll store all of the numbers till the end so time complexity space complexity okay it's fine better than the previous one but space is not fine it's getting worse third approach basically i'll give the credit of this approach to one of my friend i'll have the array numbered from 0 to n the index the indices and what i'll do i know that the sum of 1 to n natural numbers is nothing but just this so what i'll do i'll add up all the numbers and get the total from this array and from that total i'll reduce expected total so i'll get a number that's repeated and we find the duplicate entry as simple as that but the problem with this approach is that if n is very large suppose n is 10 raised to 7 just 10 raised to 7 so whenever i'll add the numbers like Nine 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 nine. So, adding this to this is very petty task because addition of these numbers will again have this n because n is the size. And now, time for most interesting fourth approach about this algorithm, where suppose I have an array. With entries like one, okay, let's increase its size. One, three, four, two, three. Okay, this is the example, and I know that three is duplicate entry here, but I have to code it. Okay, so these are indices, and let's make the linked list for this. So how we will make the linked list? I know that first the root will be first index. so one here and it's pointing this one index so three now it's pointing to this index two now it's pointing to this index so four now it's pointing to this index so again back to this now where is the cycle now how can i say that there will be a cycle always when i have duplicate entry because every time i have two entries so this 
pointer and this pointer are pointing to same element so pointing to same element will end up getting me a cycle in this linked list so now i'll use this algorithm to detect this element here so what i'll do i'll start at turtle and here at zero moment now turtles here next moment turtles and here next moment turtles and here i got it now another turtles here and next boom i got this node this is duplicate entry the starting of this cycle and i got this entry very well with very less complexity basically the complexity is all what i use only order of one extra space okay because i know that it's fixed to having two pointers so it's order of one the extra space i'm using plus the time complexity is what it's order of n because it's all about traversing through this array so just order of n is the time complexity and order of one is the space complexity very efficient algorithm because it's not adding or doing something so the complexity of that addition and all that is not here now let's prove this then i'll also code this so suppose this is my linked list with a cycle inside and i am to understand how the trap of this turtle in here is getting me this node okay so suppose the nodes here in this structure are mu okay linear structure with mu nodes and the nodes in this cyclic structure are lambda suppose okay now because it is in here starts from this node so ultimately the distance covered by tau is if i then distance covered by here is 2i because the speed of here is twice for the speed of tau is so distance is also twice okay now the suppose when they meet at at some node say this one randomly okay so total distance covered by the tau is this mu plus some rounds so say m rounds so m times this circle plus after m rounds it will move this y distance to reach this node okay now for the here again mu plus n lambda because we can't say that they will have same round and definitely they will not have same number of rounds so n lambda plus after this round y for this as well because both are meeting at this point now distance of turtles when reduced from distance of here i'll get the value of i equals to this minus this gone this minus this and this minus is gone so this is the distance covered by the tortoise okay now if you get this then you are done because now when tortoise is here and i put another tortoise here so to reach at this point at this point i understand that total displacement up to here for both the tortoise will be this only displacement distance will be this plus number of rounds into lambda okay so i can say that at this point when both turtles meet after reaching the first turtles here it will have the total displacement this plus mu okay but because this is not to be counted in displacement so it will be this only so what i want to say ultimately 
the time taken by this toto is to reach here will be same as the time taken by this toto is to reach here okay so again the last step i understand by the race i'll reach to some node that will be at p lambda okay from here so when this will move mu this will also move mu and they will ultimately meet at this node that's the starting of the cycle and duplicate entry in the array okay if about coding so basically what i'll do while turtle is is not equals to here then what you have to do put turtle is equals to add index turtle is an array and here equals to twice done so while they do not meet just do this and when they will meet what i'll do i'll put another t2 equals to 0 and while t2 is not equals to t t2 equals to move with speed of 1 and this also move with speed of 1 and ultimately they will meet at some point and at that point return t the final index or the index at which we find the duplicate entry so this is the final point of turtles and we got the duplicate entry this is how it works initially i'll start it with t equals to 0 h equals to 0 an integer okay let's put comma here and done so initialize this and i'll put t equals to a r t and h equals to a r a r t once before starting this loop because if i do not put this then it will definitely not work at this because initially both of them are equal so it won't work okay so we will first do this manually and then do this you can also use do while loop so this is it if you find this concept really effective and good for your understanding then make sure to hit the like button to let me know that yeah you liked it you can also comment down make sure to subscribe to this channel for more such videos see you next time goodbye